Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And today we're going to take a look at an adult coloring book. That's right, there's a whole phenomenon, a movement uh, with adult coloring books. I guess you could call this art therapy or a way to relax or, you know, express yourself artistically in a, in a sort of different way. I guess it reconnect you with your childhood or bring back some of those... Um, some of those memories or feelings uh, of relaxation and enjoyment when you were a kid. But there's a whole line of these books put out uh, by a bunch of different companies. This one happens to be from michaelomirabooks.com. Uh, and uh, you can see the web address there in the lower right hand corner, mombooks.com, easy to remember. And so today I picked this up at a local bookstore. They're everywhere now in bookstores and art stores and just all over the place. Um, it's turning into quite a big deal. And lots of people are doing this. I was a little bit late to the uh, game, but I had a number of uh, YouTube channel subscribers just leave me notes or make comments about what, you know, asking questions. What's the best uh, pencil or pen or watercolor or paint to use in these books? Or, you know, do you know about uh, this uh, coloring book phenomenon, this adult coloring book? There's whole parties around this and everything. So I thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and try it out. So this is my attempt. I took a, a Celtic weave pattern from the book and um, I'm going to go through this today and I'll talk a little bit about my experiences uh, with this and some different aspects and materials and things like that. So uh, sit back, relax, and let's go through this uh, uh, kind of cool adult coloring book. Well, one of the first things I noticed was, uh, was that it wasn't uh, entirely relaxing for me when I started this because um, I was trying too hard to stay in the lines and it was kind of frustrating when the uh, pen, this is a, a Faber-Castell uh, Pitt artist pen, it's water-based and I'm used to uh, being a little bit more loose with my work so staying within the tight confines of the lines was a little, could be a little frustrating and so I had to be extra careful. Now here you see and fast forward but when I slow it down like right here you can see it's like uh, T being very careful about each little line and mark that you make and not to spill over into the white area at all. and That took a little bit of um, concentration, but once I let that go and sort of just started uh, coloring in the book, I did feel um, a little bit more relaxed about it and, uh, you know, just uh, kind of carefree. Okay, yeah, you know, if something falls out of line, no big deal. Um, I probably made enough mistakes anyway to, uh, to have that not matter anymore, but I liked uh, being able to use just a different number of varieties of um, greens in this particular Celtic weave type drawing and then just being able to leave some of the white space there and the white and black contrast is really um, interesting and, and it's a neat look you know so um, that was fun that was a fun part of uh, using the, the coloring book. Just being brand new to uh, adult coloring or uh, trying this sort of thing, I think I probably picked uh, a more challenging pattern than, than a beginner should should probably pick. You know, it's a little bit, um, uh, I think I overshot my uh, ambition here and said, well, I'll take on something this big. And one of the other challenges was trying to figure out, okay, each corner of the pattern repeats itself. Now, am I using the right color in the right pattern? So. I had to be mindful of that and make a few corrections along the way, but I think if you're a beginner and you start with a very uh, simpler pattern, um, it might be helpful from that standpoint. But overall, I was really happy and impressed with sort of the, uh, you know, the, the sense of, you know, relaxation you do get once you kind of just throw caution to the wind and say, yeah, you know what, I'm going to live with this and it's going to be great. And I think it's a neat idea and I'm, I'm interested to see other people's work and what they put up. There's a contest going on right now at um, at that Michael O'Mara Books, uh, mombooks.com website, and you can put your uh, works up there and they'll, there's going to be some kind of a, uh, award given out, I guess, at the end of uh, September. So check that out if you get a chance. I'll put a link here uh, for you to do that if you're interested. Well, thanks for stopping by and it was fun to take a look at this adult coloring book and I hope uh, you get a chance to try one out. It was pretty cool. Here's uh, publishing information too if you're interested in that or you want to pick one up yourself. All right, this has been Marty from OwingsArt.com. Thanks for stopping by today. So long everybody. Have a great day.